Hello and welcome to Sword of Sis classes. Today we will discuss the general English section of the ISISS exam 2014. Now the first topic is a list of words and we have to make sentences using these words. The first of them is quagmire. Now quagmire means a difficult situation. difficult situation or a hazardous situation it actually means a marshy area which gives away when you step on it so quagmire is a hazardous hazardous or difficult situation so the sentence could be it was a quagmire for John to take the examination with a broken right hand. Next, remuneration. This is salary or wages or something which you get in return, in return of services. So remuneration means salary or wages in simple terms. And the sentence could be the remuneration offered by private companies specially at high ranks or high levels is higher than government companies or government enterprises especially at high levels is higher than government enterprises okay next one is pension pension means liking or preference strong liking or preference i would say so the sentence could be sheila had a penchant for music which made her to pursue it. Next, verbiage. This means wordiness or a lot of words, unnecessary words or verbosity. So, something which has a lot of unnecessary words. So the sentence could be the redundant verbiage of his writing distances is readers redundant verbiage of his writings writings the redundant verbiage of his writings distances his readers next niche niche means it's a 
यूनिक पोजिशन एक्चुअली इट इज अलो होल और क्रोवाइस इन अ वॉल विच इज वेरी यूनिकली बिल्ट सो निश मीन्स इट्स अ यूनिक पोजिशन एंड द सेंटेंस कुड बी राम created a niche for himself in the design designers space ram created a niche for himself in the designer space next we have a few sentences which are given to us and we have to make changes as per the instructions in each sentence so the first one says change into indirect speech now when we change from direct to indirect that means we have to change two things one is the verb which is from present to past tense and second is the person from first to third person so here we have he said i have passed the examination i have so have should change to had and i will change to he so these are the two changes so the sentence in indirect speech would be he said that he had passed the examination next here we are told to use the modal auxiliary may or might now what are modal auxiliary modal auxiliary are verbs which do not change their form when they are changed from singular to plural like for example right this plural becomes rights when it is changed to singular but there are verbs which do not do this and these verbs are can could may might must ought shall should will and would so these verbs do not change their form when they are converted from singular to plural and here we are asked to use the uh, auxiliary may or might and the sentence says i have a piece of bread please so all we have to do is so all we have to do is introduce may in the beginning so the sentence will become may i have a piece of bread please okay next one this one says that we has we have to use the superlative so the sentence says our generation is modern now in order to use the superlative of modern we have to add the word most so it will be our generation is most modern and whenever we are adding most we have to add the our generation is the most modern okay next one <clears throat> this one 
says we have to use the progressive or continuous forms. Progressive or continuous means what was going on. So it says John Lennon died while he lived in New York. So died cannot be changed to continuous because died means died but lived can be changed to a continuous form by saying John Lennon died while he was living in New York. So I changed lived to was living. Lived is changed to was living. So John Lennon died while he was living in New York. Last one. Germany invaded Poland in 1939, thus initiating the Second World War. Change into passive voice. So this is active in active voice. In active voice, the actor comes first and the receiver comes second. And in passive voice, the receiver comes first and the actor comes second. So here Germany is the actor which is coming first. Invaded Poland. Poland is the receiver. So Poland came second in the active uh, voice. So in the passive voice, the receiver will come first. So Poland will come first and Germany will come second. So the sentence would be Poland was invaded in 1939 by Germany which initiated the Second World War. Poland was in, in 1939 by Germany initiated the Second World War. Next, we are given some sentences which we have to grammatically correct. The first one, it says, I would rather, di di rather die than begging arms. Arms means uh, what you get from begging. So, I would rather die than be begging arms. I would rather die than be begging arms. Next. Neither of the five players was selected. Now when you say neither, neither means one amongst two. Neither I nor you. Neither always refers to comparison between two. Or selection between two. So here neither is wrong. It would be none. None of the five players was selected. Next. The fishermen held several fish from the sea. Now fishermen, they don't hold fishes. They catch. The fishermen caught several fish, not fish, Several means many, so it will be plural, so it will be fishes. So the fishermen caught several fishes from the sea. Next. I asked him that how many brothers had he? It would be I asked him, that is wrong. I asked him how many brothers he had. I asked him how many brothers he had. Next. He cannot dare to come here. Cannot means can means he may or may not. He can come. He cannot come. But what is meant here is 
cannot dare that means he will not dare he, he will not have the courage so it will be will he will not dare to come here so it won't be can it will be will he will not dare to come here next this is the man which killed his father this is the man which is associated with inanimate objects which is which goes with inanimate objects and who or whom goes with people or animate objects persons this is the man who killed his father next no sooner had she arrived when the telegram came now whenever whenever you have no sooner it is always followed by than nothing else no sooner than so no sooner had she arrived than the telegram came next john is a tall boy isn't he because it refers to an inanimate object he is referring to a person so john is a tall boy isn't he next they have disposed of their farmhouse now disposed is always followed by of not o double f get rid of here we have double f and the meaning is the same disposed of means to get rid of so when i say get rid of it will it is o double f but when i say disposed of it will be o f so they have disposed of their farmhouse o f last one my handwriting is superior than any of yours handwriting is is not superior it is better so comparative uh, comparatively it is better than yours so my handwriting is better than any of yours